Hello, my name is James and I am not a financial advisor. I'm not a guru. Uh, I've only been doing this for five months, but I have made $50,000 in this five months. Okay, I'm, I purchased my first stock on September 3rd, 2020, and it is February 3rd, 2021. Okay, and I want to share with you guys um, step by step on how I did this um, so that hopefully you can come in and do the same thing. Uh, hopefully you can come in and have those type of gains. So what I want to tell you first, though, is you get people out here who said they went from zero to fifty thousand dollars. That is not possible. They're misleading you when they say they put it at zero to fifty thousand, because if you put zero, how can you make money if you put in zero? You can't do that. OK. Another thing that they do is they get, they say I've made fifty thousand dollars, but they don't show you that forty thousand dollars is their own money that they put in. You know, they don't tell you that part. So they only really made ten thousand dollars, which is still good. Don't get me wrong, but they're misleading you. So I want to show you that I have actually made fifty thousand dollars. OK. So if you look here. Altogether, I have sixty-five thousand dollars. So on today, I've made eighteen hundred um, dollars so far, uh, almost three percent. So, pretty good day, okay? Um, but let's go. I said five months, so let's go down to the year, okay? So you see here that I have actually made fifty-one thousand uh, dollars at a three hundred and fifty-six percent to return on my investment so what that means is that i have tripled my money a little bit more than triple my money so you can see exactly how much money i've actually put in because all you have to do is take the 65 minus the 50 um and you see that i put in actually about fourteen thousand. okay about fourteen thousand a little over fourteen thousand to make the 65 okay so that shows you that i've actually made fifty thousand dollars okay that's an average of ten thousand dollars a month but to be honest with you this last month is where it really um i've really made a lot of money matter of fact i can show you the last 30 days let me kick it here last 30 days i made thirty thousand dollars which is an average of a thousand dollars a day because i finally um learned how this whole thing works okay I, when I first started off, I really didn't know what I was doing. You know, uh, I jumped into it. Um, don't get me wrong. I did take the time to study. I even took a 10 week vacation, a 10 week. I'm sorry. I wish it was 10 weeks. Uh, it was 10 day. I took a 10 day vacation just to study the stock market. And then I jumped in um, September 3rd. Okay. So let me show you the things, 10 things that you need to do in order to, to, be successful here in the stock market and how I made this $50,000. Okay, first of all, you got to make time to learn. I know you guys out there. I know you guys work hard. Some of you guys are working like I was working, you know, 10, 12 hour days and not coming home and not having the time to actually you know, learn anything. You're tired and ready to go to sleep, but you have to take the time uh, to learn. Okay. And what I would suggest is if you can, like I did, take a vacation. If you can't, at least take one day. Take a PTO day or whatever you have to do. Say, so let's say you work Monday through Friday. Take off a Friday and use Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and actually start studying the market because that's the only way that you're going to actually really make money is you have to actually take the time to learn. So whatever time you have, if you can't take it off, you know, Get an hour a day. Try to find an hour a day somewhere in your day where you can actually sit down and study the market and learn uh, some of the things you have to in order to make the money. Okay. So the second thing is you have to get started. Okay. Um, you have to get started. And what I mean by that is that you have to actually get the account, set your account up. Okay. And then you have to actually start purchasing stock. Okay. It's funny. It was, there was a girl 
when I, I was talking to her about um, purchasing stock, and she said, oh, yeah, I set up um, account a year ago, but I didn't do anything with it. Okay, so she started, she set the account up, but she never started buying stocks. And it was on a on Robinhood, and you know they gave they give you a free stock. So she actually still had that free stock in there, and she bought the stock for three dollars and something, and it was six dollars and something. And I said, "Look, you already making money." She goes, "Ah," eh. because she just all she saw was three dollars uh, profit. But what I saw, and I told her, "Hey, wait a minute, think about this. If you had a hundred shares of that, then that means you would have made three hundred dollars." I said, if you had a thousand shares of that, you would have already had three thousand dollars. And then she understood, and the light went off, and like, wow, you know. So the thing is, guys, you have to go open up your account, put how much money you can afford um, to lose, actually, um, and get started, and not just open it up, but actually get started, start purchasing stocks. Okay. The next thing that you need to do is that you have to do your own due diligence, okay? What does that mean? That means you have to go and you have to do your own research. Even though, and I will tell you, I'm definitely uh, guilty of this, is like I will go to YouTube and see, okay, what are my the top stocks to buy? What per, what, what stocks are hot right now? Or what are the top three stocks for February? I would look, look all those up and then I would, uh, see, hey, they did all they due diligence already, so I go ahead and purchase the stock. Well, guess what? Sometimes guys on YouTube, even though they go over a whole lot of, of information, they may miss something. And when I started doing my own due diligence, like I would take what they, they, they gave me, but I would go to the, let's say, the company website, and I would go to their finan finances, uh, finances, and I would look it up, okay? And sometimes there would be stuff on there that they missed, it was like, man, how can they miss this? But guess what? These guys are human, okay? These guys are human. Um, they can miss things. So that's why I'm saying you have to do your own due diligence. Um, you Remember, you are responsible for your own money, okay? Okay, the next thing, you have to learn how to be patient with a stock, okay? So basically, once you learn how to uh, purchase a stock and you've picked out a stock, you've done your due diligence and sometimes you have to really be patient. Uh, at first I wasn't <laughs> that patient. It was just like, even though I knew I was purchasing stocks for the long run, if a stock didn't move or move down, you know, in two, three weeks, then I would just go ahead and um, sell it. Okay. But I regretted that sometimes I, on several occasions where I've come back uh, uh, two months later or whatever, and the stock has gone way up. And I was like, oh, my God, I had that stock. Uh, top shelf, uh, top shelf, top shelf, um, tattoo chef, I'm sorry, tattoo chef was one of them. I bought the stock, and then I wound up selling it, and then it, it shot up. So there's a few like that. So you have to make sure that you be patient. So when you buy a stock, you do your due diligence, um, which is researching the company. You make sure you buy a good company so that you'll hang on that um, to that stock for a long period of time. Have patience. Usually your stock is going to move. You just think about it like this. You say, this, will this stock be more than it is in a year? from now well if the stock is five dollars right now will it still be five dollars a year from now no you know more than likely that stock is going to go up so just have patience the next thing you need to do well usually the night before i write down my plan okay and you have to make sure that sometimes the plan could be just simply i'm not doing anything today okay remember that on red days, all the stocks go down. There's nothing wrong with your stock. It's just the whole stock market is down. So all you have to do is wait it out. But this is the best time to actually make money. Because when the stock market goes down, you purchase more shares. So then when it goes back up, now you have even more money than you started with. Okay? 
the next step is see I was willing to change strategies okay I was willing to change my strategy so what I started off with September 3rd my my strat is much different now um, the stocks I went after are much different now so you have to be willing to change okay willing to say okay oh yeah this strategy it didn't work let me move to another strategy okay this strategy actually worked but this is a better strategy so you have to make sure that you are open to change and always looking and always trying to learn okay the next step is learn I learned quantity over well quality over quantity okay so that's the old saying quality over quantity well in this particular case when you're talking about stocks and shares then the, you have to learn that the, there's power in quantity and quality so well, the, what I mean by that if you have a, some stocks that you say you bought a hundred shares of that stock okay then every single time it goes up a dollar you make a hundred dollars okay if this is a good stock every time it goes up you make a hundred dollars now it's even better if you have a thousand shares of it right because if you have a thousand shares of it now every time it goes up a dollar you make a thousand dollars so if it goes up to ten dollars you just made ten thousand dollars so you have to make sure that if you really really got a good company you try to get as many shares as you can but please make sure this is not financial advice remember you have to make sure that the money that you're putting in the market um, you can afford to lose you know don't put your rent money in the market put money in there that you can you can afford to lose um, but understand this is one of the biggest gains that I got and that's why I made the um, thirty thousand dollars in the last month because I started buying quantity and quality together and that's why I've made so much money when I say so much money it's like to me it's a lot of money I know to some people that's not a lot of money but to me it is okay so the next step is um, creating captains and this this is my what I do um, and I know there's other people out there who they call it um, no skin in the game and what that means for me I use creating captains so let's just say I have a stock that I have I purchased 200 shares of this stock okay and the, the stock was a dollar okay and I have 200 shares so as soon as that um, these are this is a penny stock of course and as soon as it gets to two dollars I sell a hundred shares okay now I have my money that I put in my my the money that I put in to purchase those shares I now have it out and now I have a hundred shares that have no skin in the game I, I created a captain is what I call it it's a captain of its own team and it's pure profit so now I that money so if it goes up or down it doesn't really matter that much to me because I have no skin in the game uh, and to me it's a beautiful thing to see profit going out and getting more profit so if that goes up it's just my money making more money okay and then the beautiful thing about it is I take that other uh, money from the other hundred shares that I sold and I purchase something else and now it's making money okay so now I have two different ways here where I made money so and this is something that I like to do I have in my portfolio now I have like seven eight captains and now I'm not suggesting you do that you have to do it your own way because here's the bad thing about that is that every time you sell remember you pay taxes on that so you may want to hold on to it for a year that's what people tell you hold it for a whole year you pay less taxes when you sell it but this is just something that actually works for me okay the next thing is that you have to be consistent okay you have to be consistent 
okay, no matter what you're putting in, you have to be consistent about it. So if you can only afford to put $20 a week in, then just put the $20 a week. That's all you do. Um, if you can afford to put in, let's just say something comes up like a stimulus check or whatever, you get a bonus at work, then you can go ahead and use some of that money to put in. Um, I would even give you a suggestion um, as far as your, let's just say you have a lot of vacation time. You know, you have 100, 200 hours of vacation time. You can go to your boss and say, hey, I want to take 40 hours of vacation time, but I want to continue to work as well. They'll let you do that most places. So you you when you work that week, then you still have your money to pay your bills and everything. But you have a whole extra 40 hours that you can actually take that and put it into the stock market. OK, and make money on it. OK, so there are several different ways that you can find money to put it connected. I connect it and continue to learn. I connect it uh, as far as getting into these groups um, like, you know, Reddit like stock tweets and those type of groups getting into some discords and stuff like that with some of these youtubers um because you can find out about stocks um that you didn't even know about um they'll um th what's great about the stock market is that everybody wants everybody else to win because let me tell you now there are short sellers out, out, out there that you have to be very careful about uh, in other words, what a short seller is, is there they make money if it, the stock goes down. So let's just say you had a good stock and you'll see people posting stuff that this stock is trash. This stock is this, this stock. And they'll make up lies just so they can get you to sell because they make money if the stock goes down. But you'll learn those type of things, too. That's why I said make time to learn. Um, but anyway, you have to be connected uh, into in some type of group and then continue to learn every day continue to learn i made myself very open to learning 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 and the more i learn the more money i make okay and just to be transparent i use um margin okay now i will tell you you shouldn't use margin <laughs> okay i know it sounds crazy it's like i'm i'm using it but i'm telling you not to use it because i i am a risk taker okay and if you're not a risk taker you got to make sure that you don't do those type of things um you if you're not a risk taker make sure you stay in the larger stocks do not do a penny stock a penny stock is anything under five dollars let me tell you when you buy a, a stock under five dollars it's very volatile it goes up and down up and down and up and down it will drive you crazy if you're not a risk taker i am a risk taker uh, and I think I really honestly believe that that's one of the reasons why I'm up so much, too, because I'm willing to take the risk. Um, but right now I am a risk taker anyway. But on top of it is just like I'm I'm starting to look toward uh, my retirement and I have to get there uh, a lot quicker um, because I had you know, bad money management throughout my years and I looked at it. Uh, when I got ready to retire and I was like, oh, man, I don't have enough money to retire. But now I have hope because I've made fifty thousand dollars in the last five months. And that's crazy. If I even just do half as well as that from here on out, I will have enough money to retire happily and be able to travel and do all those things. And I'm hoping and wishing the same for you guys. So if you have any questions for me whatsoever, put them down in the comments. And I will definitely answer them. Anybody who puts a question down there, I will answer. And if I don't know, I will tell you 100% that I don't know. Now, I think that if you take the time to do these things is here, I think that you'll have great gains as well. I can't promise you that you'll have the gains that I have. But I can promise you that if you take the time and you do these things right, you will have the opportunity to make those type of gains. Okay? All right, I am a stock elite. Peace. See you in the next video.